Hello guys, Mike here. Um, just a very quick video um, for anyone who might be experiencing video issues in the new Pro Tools. Um, I've just upgraded to the new 2020.3.0. Normally I wouldn't have done, um, but I thought my projects were finished. Thought I'd have a little bit of an opportunity to check out the new um, functions that they've got, such as uh, folders, etc, etc. I wanted to do some videos on them. Um, it seems okay, but it's not perfect. Um, I would actually hold off upgrading if I were you. Um, what happened to me earlier when I launched this, um, they seem to have done some work on the, um, the video uh, side of it. It looks like there's some almost avid, actual avid stuff coming into this. Where you can uh, you can start changing the actual resolution and the uh, whether it's flat scope full full aperture etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, which is cool you know I'm sure that will have some utility in the future but when I first launched this earlier all I had was zero thumbnails for the whole film um, and when my actual video screen was just black there was no content on it at all um, there's this new tick box thing I don't know what that is um, you know it's in 24 fps. My session is also in the 24 FPS, um, so I couldn't see, you know, why it wasn't playing. I tried all the kind of normal normal stuff of of um, turning off the um, the uh, video engine, turning the video engine back on. That didn't work. I went into preferences. Um, this may have been there before, but I don't recall there being a video section with GPU. Don't recall it being there, but don't quote me on that. It may well have been there. Anyway. Um, how I fixed it was you've got to delete a few things from your system. So you've basically got to go, um, I will link the, um, I found this basically on the internet um, with some chap going mental, had exactly the same problem. You've basically got to delete these folders. So you've got to go into your library application support Avid um, AVX2 and delete the contents of that folder. And you've got to go to this folder and delete. Um, um, I just deleted the whole damn folder. When I restarted Pro Tools, um, I was back in action. So um, there seems to be some bugginess um, without question. Um, but yeah, I'll put that down in the, in the description. Another thing that I've currently found, so I've just done the edits I needed to do. What you now have is to say we choose the thing and we want to actually export. So we're going to bounce to a quick time. We get in this error message where it's saying that no valid same as source resolution is found and we should select um, the QuickTime settings from the QuickTime settings dialog box. I never remember this being there. Um, honestly, I, I don't care about this box. Um, I, you know, I don't really want to affect or recompress or change the video. I'm a composer. I just want to bounce my score to it, get it off to the director so he can check it out and move on. But now it seems we're sort of having to be forced to start looking in these. Oh, now we've got the spinning wheel of, uh, of death on us. Um, it's not perfect, guys. Um, I would say if you're working to film right now at this particular point in time, do not download it. Don't touch it because it's being severely strange. Um, uh, I don't know. Yeah, not responding. So Pro Tools has actually crashed now um, just on me trying to basically export um, my score to a video. So now we're going to be in the realm of me having to export the score and putting it into Premiere, um, you know, to then get it to the director. All fine. I can use Premiere, whatever, but I don't really want to be dealing with that. I'd rather just, like I say, export. You know, I don't care about re-encoding it or re-exporting it. And now we're completely crashed. So uh, not impressed. Um, if anyone is in the same boat, give me a shout. But I hope this has been um, helpful to anyone who's having grief and is currently not being able to work because avid have let us down yet again um anyway guys um yep yeah, i hope this helpful leave me a comment please um, and uh, i'll be uh i'll look forward to hearing if we've got any help for this one all right guys see you later bye bye